you know, beyond the balloons, as I say, there's just so many different things going on. And so you can actually decide that you may want to enjoy all of the aromas and all of the flavors at New Mexico's favorite eats. And that's going to be a taste of New Mexico. Now this weekend, more than two dozen restaurants, breweries, wineries, they will all take over Albuquerque's Civic Plaza. And that's going to be a two day autumn event. Right, and if you go, hey, eat dessert, first. Yeah. Goldbrush, Goldbrush Cupcakes is going to be there and it's one of the must-haves at A Taste of New Mexico. Goldbrush Cupcakes is my baby. We started it in 2009. We opened up in downtown originally. We were about five blocks west of where we are now. Um, I work with my mom and my sister, which is fantastic. They're the, the best support that anybody could ask for. Um, I've been ba baking since I was six years old. I have 18 nieces and nephews, actually 19 now. My sister just had a baby. So I've had lots of experience doing birthday cakes, baptisms, first communions, um, and just little by little, word of mouth, friends of friends asking, hey, where did you get that done? And it just started to grow. So a lot of people ask me where I come up with ideas for my flavors. Um, some of them are very, we range from the simple, like vanilla and chocolate, to the very exotic. We do green tea, um, tiramisu. One of my favorites is this one here. It's called Sunny Side Up. It's a little breakfast cupcake. It's a buttermilk pancake cupcake. It's got three little miniature pancakes of gummy fried egg and bacon and maple syrup. I love this one because it's very representative of, of New Mexico. It's a little biscotito cupcake, so it's got um, lots of anise seed in the middle, and then we've got the cinnamon sugar on top. This one I love because it's very blingy. I wanted to call it bling cherry instead of bean cherry, but it's actually a cherry limeade cupcake. So we've got the little cherry dipped in edible glitter. And this one for all the coffee drinkers, I love. It's a chocolate cake. It's drizzled in espresso. It's got an espresso uh, cream cheese frosting on top, chocolate and caramel drizzled, and chocolate covered espresso beans. This is the first year we're gonna participate at Taste of New Mexico here at Civic Plaza, and we're very excited. Um, we're going to be taking a variety of what we do on a daily basis, some of our most popular flavors. One of the unique things we're going to be offering at this event are cocktail-inspired cupcakes, which we don't offer all the time in store. We're going to have a really wide selection of those. We'll also have um, cookies, and we're going to do miniature um, sliders, pulled pork sliders, which I think is going to be a really big hit. They're adorable, just tiny little bite size. A lot of people don't know this about us. Our name is Gold Rush Cupcakes, but we're also a deli. We do wonderful breakfast burritos, gourmet sandwiches, soups. And in fact, we sell so many salads, I'm tempted to change my name to Gold Rush Cupcakes and Salads. We do delicious salads. So come on down and see us downtown, Third and Copper. And Taste of New Mexico takes place once again Saturday and Sunday at Civic Plaza. For all the details, you can just simply visit thetasteofnm.com. Now, don't rush off after the balloons land because there is plenty more to do and to discover about the world of ballooning at the Anderson Abruzzo Albuquerque International Balloon Museum, which is exactly where Kenny Hatchett is right now. Good morning, Kenny. Good morning. How are you guys this morning? We're good. good. <laughs> Very cool. You know, it's no secret that my favorite people happen to be dogs. and. Uh, a little, a little known secret that the uh, Balloon Museum is, uh, is dog friendly and uh, there's a lot of pet uh, activities going on this weekend and Jennifer's here to explain some of the events. Hi, yeah, we have the uh, Festival of Flight this weekend. It's going to be featuring the furry friends at Fiesta Day. You can come and see tr our New Mexico's own Traveling Jack. Um, a lot of the proceeds will be um, benefiting all of the uh, local shelters and rescues. And we will also be having bird exhibits. We will be having um, uh, butterfly exhibits. And there will be lots of stuff for the kids. Scout Day, we'll be having that. We'll be having discounts for our military. And thank you for all for your service. And it's going to be a great time. So come out, adopt a pet and um, bring your own furry friends as well. That's right. Yeah, uh, there's a, there's a, a no dogs on the field, but the, the dogs are allowed up here. So bring your furry friends. Um, you, there, there will be dogs, adopt, adoptable dogs here. There will be adoptable dogs here, yes, of course. And um, there will be also, um, uh, <laughs> there will be Jack, of course, <laughs> um, giving potographs. And there will be um, lots of, of uh, family activities as well, educational things for the kids. Very cool. So come by. Maybe you'll find your new best friend, uh, but you'll have a heck of a time, you know, regardless. So I'll toss it back to you guys. Have a have a good rest of the morning.
<laughs> Thanks so much, Kenny. Thanks, Jennifer. And of course, we love to see our favorite pets oh, out Jack. there. I mean, we love him. <laughs> and we know that Kenny loves those pets. And what a great opportunity for you to have a chance to have a pet of your own this week just by going and checking out those adoptable pets. Really lovely. So we're happy, we're happy to bring that to you as well as the beautiful live pictures that you get to see right here at Balloon Fiesta. The special shapes are up, up, and away. They're flying. Of course, Arabelle behind us is still just not going too far. She's no, just kind of... No, the uh, shapes actually are starting to come down now. Yeah. The ones that weren't able to take off, they just stayed here and inflated for everybody to see. Uh, those are starting to come down now, but we do have a box in effect. I saw a lot of the special shapes take off toward the south. Now they're coming back north, hovering over the field, so still really nice out here. <laughs> Stick around. We have more coming up after the break. So much fun.